Footage shows a major Israeli strike near Beirut International Airport in the southern part of the Lebanese capital this afternoon on Thursday at 1.17 p.m. Footage shared by Lebanese media shows a powerful airstrike on the civilian residential area of Mareje, just meters away across the airport, where a passenger plane is seen taxiing in the background and preparing to take off nearby. Although details are scarce, the strike is a dangerous move for the safety of civil aviation and passengers, considered a war crime in its quality and scale. So far, Beirut Airport, the country's only airport, has reportedly remained open despite the strike, well behind the battle lines to put pressure on Hezbollah. The reported bombing comes amid ongoing tensions, in which Israeli military action has targeted various locations in Lebanon, often as a pretext for hostilities involving Hezbollah or other groups. On the North Front, Israeli military appears to be struggling to gain a foothold, as it continues to attempt to break into southern Lebanon, but is met with fierce resistance from Hezbollah troops. Hezbollah continues to take important and strategic steps by targeting enemy military personnel and their equipment, which poses a significant threat to Lebanon's sovereignty. In addition to crippling dozens of Israeli soldiers in the past 72 hours, Hezbollah has the upper hand on the North Front, having so far destroyed 43 Merkava tanks by ATGM since the start of Israeli ground invasion. Meanwhile, the new defense minister sat down with Israeli military staff Herzi Halevi, announcing the goal of the war on the North Front is to disarm Hezbollah. Katz vowed that IDF will continue fighting until all Israeli goals are achieved. However, it appears that Hezbollah has begun the second phase of its operations as troops and tanks advance towards Lebanon's north lines.